In this video, I'll show you two examples on how to solve a right triangle when no angles are provided. The first question asks, solve the triangle CAT for all the missing angles. Given that we have this box at the vertex here, we know that this is a right triangle. And so we already know one of the angles. Angle A is equal to 90. But we need to find angle C and angle T. Now what you have to do is select a reference vertex. I'm going to select this reference vertex, but you could also select this vertex to be your reference. And the one that you select, you want to call it theta. Okay, and that symbol right there represents theta, the Greek letter. And what we have relative to this angle is this side, which is opposite of this angle. Notice how it's opposite. And we also have this side, which is right next to the angle. Therefore, this is called the adjacent side. And that's what adjacent means, next to. We have three trigonometric ratios that we could possibly work with. And they are sine, cosine, and tangent. Now, sine, cosine, and tangent have different ratios. The sine ratio is so representing opposite and hypotenuse. Cosine is ka, which represents adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent is toa, which represents opposite over adjacent. So we have our opposite and we have our adjacent. The trigonometric ratio that deals with opposite and adjacent is tangent, so we're going to use tangent. Tangent theta is equal to opposite over the adjacent. Now we're looking for our angle, so this part is going to remain as theta. I'm going to replace my O with 7 and I'm going to replace my A for 24. Now remember this A represents adjacent and that's adjacent. So we have tangent theta is equal to 7 over 24. To find out what your theta is you have to take the inverse function tangent. And so to access the inverse tangent function you will click shift tangent and it will look like this where you have a negative 1 as a power, 7 over 24 gives us 16.26, 16.26 degrees. So angle T is equal to 16.26 degrees. Now we have two of the three angles. There's only one missing. So to find your final angle, angle C, you can take 180 minus 16.2 minus 90 and you should get the value of angle C. So let's do that together. 180 minus the answer, which was the previous answer that we found on our calculator, minus 90 is equal to 73.73 .73 degrees. Now make sure you put the degree unit. That's very important. So there you have it. Those are the missing angles for question one. Let's move on to question two. In question two, they're asking us to solve the triangle ABC for all the missing angles. And we have to assume that angle B is 90 degrees. So I'm just going to put a square that represents the 90 degrees there. Once again, you have to choose between either A and C as your reference. And it's totally random. You can choose either A or C. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to choose A. Now, relative to A, we have this length and we have this length. Now, 41 represents the hypotenuse because the hypotenuse side is always opposite of the 90 degrees. So we know that the hypotenuse is 41 and we know the opposite is 33. So we have to find a trigonometric ratio that relates opposite and hypotenuse, OH. The only one that does that is sine. Sine theta is equal to opposite over the hypotenuse. So we don't know our angle sine and you can replace theta with big A if you like. It really doesn't matter. The opposite is 33. The hypotenuse is 41. I'm going to use sine inverse to find out what my angle is. So shift sine. You should end up with a symbol that looks like that. 33 divided by 41 gives me 53.59. So angle A is equal to 53. 0.59 degrees. Now we also need to find angle C. Now if you recall from the previous example, you will subtract 180 minus 53.59 minus 90 and this will give us, using our calculator, 180 minus the answer we just got, minus 90, gives us angle C to be 
36.4. So angle C is equal to 36.4 degrees. And that's it. We just found all the missing angles to this right triangle. Now going back to question one, we have almost every piece of information to solve this right triangle. The only piece of information that is missing is this. And to find that length, you could use the Pythagorean theorem, which looks like this. a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, where this represents your hypotenuse. So since this is our hypotenuse, which is directly across the 90, you would have to solve for c. And so there you have it. That is how to solve right triangles with no angles provided. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.